Hi, Michael Lish, Community Skis. You can always reach us at communityskis.com. Today we're on site in Jacksonville, Wyoming, and we're hanging out at the Jackson Hole Grocers. Great place to be, great food, great groceries. Today we're going to go over how to design a great pair of deep powder skis. There's two key points you want to keep in mind. First, do you want the kind of ski that's going to penetrate, go deep, and then pork this back up, where you're getting the full flush of all that deep powder that's just fine? Second, do you want the kind of ski that's much more buoyant and you're staying topside and you're charging and turns are longer and you're going for the exhilaration of high speed? If you're designing a ski that's going to stay on top, we're talking a wider platform. You want the buoyancy, you want the girth. Uh, the in-snow geometry is something that is much broader, talking, let's say all things particular, maybe 118, 125 underfoot. It's called a fat ski. It's going to have a long leading rocker, okay, that's going to keep you or enable you to charge as opposed to staying neutral or leaning back. So you can go for full speed, full frontal assault in that powder snow. The second ski, when you're going to penetrate, it's a little bit narrower. But the key is, when you penetrate the snow, we don't want to go old school where you start leaning back and hopping around. No, these are skis that go deep, but they're inclined to pop back up. That means you're not going to be burdened out your quads. So how do we do that? Again, tip rocker, a little bit narrower, and we're going to change the geometry of the ski. We're going to go wide in the tip, and then we're going to narrow it down in the tail. What that means is when the ski goes under, the tip is going to drop, and the tip is going to be, excuse me, the tail is going to drop, and the tip is going to be inclined to kind of find its way back up without you putting effort in, and also allowing you to stay neutral on your skis and or forward. Again, the charging position, deep penetration skis popping back up. Key points. Fat skis, super fat for staying buoyant on top, pretty fat underfoot. Now, in both cases, side cut, turn radius is not really relevant. In powder skis, you're not using the side of the ski, the side cut to turn. You're actually maneuvering through whole body ski relationships. The second, is it a light powder, dry, and or a maritime high density? So if you have the same two skis, all things equal, if you're designing a fat ski, staying on top for a maritime pack, you could go a little bit narrower, a little bit smaller, because you're not going to have that penetration because the density of the snow is going to keep you up top. That same ski in a light powder, you definitely want to blow it out to its maximum underfoot width, because otherwise you're going to start sinking. That fatter profile in the super light snow keeps you pointed, keeps you on top. If you want a penetrating ski, same thing. A little bit fatter in a light dry pack because you'll definitely sink into that. You don't want to overly sink, hit the bottom of the snow or hit the bottom of the snow pack. If it's <clears throat> the same ski for a maritime, again, you can go a little bit narrower. So just in general terms, light skis or light, excuse me, light snow, a little bit wider overall in relationship to a maritime pack, a little bit narrower overall. A lot goes into great ski design. That's two key points that are considered. If this is interesting to you, you can always go to our website. You can go through the Design Your Ski. It's free. There's no charge. We get back to you with a really in-depth, kind of real thoughtful approach to how we might design your ski. Or contact Kristen. The phone number is below. Thank you very much.